1 Samuel 17 by Martha Jander. Philistines were the enemies of God's people long ago. They planned to kill God's followers. They weren't evil folk. God's army saw a sight one day that made them quake with fright. A giant nine feet tall appeared. He was an awesome sight. Goliath? No. Goliath? Mm. Goliath was the giant's name. Oh, how he ranted and roared. And just the armor he wore weighed 100 pounds and more. Goliath shouted, come out and fight, and if I win, you'll see. That you will all become our slaves, but if you win, you're free. God's army shook. They shook with fear. They turned to run away. There was no soldier brave enough, no soldier who would stay. But then appeared a shepherd boy, yes, David was his name. He was braver than the men, he put them all to shame. Goliath speaks against our God, how can we let him go? I'll fight the giant by myself, I'm not afraid, you know. King Saul heard what David said and told him, you're too small. Goliath is a fighting man, Goliath's much too tall. But David knew that when he fought, his God was always near. So offered David armor, but he dumped it with no fear. Then to the brook and David went and chose five rounds new stones. Goliath saw him and he bragged, boy, I'll break your every bone. You come at me, and David called with javelin and the sword. But I come at you now in the name of the Almighty Lord. It's God who gives and God who saves. The battle is the Lord's. Then David took one smooth, hard stone, got ready for the swing. And with God's help and true esteem, the stone flew from the slain. It hit Goliath square and true, he fell with a loud cry. Both armies saw the Lord in charge, they saw the giant die. The Philistines then turned and ran, there was no place to hide. God's army won the victory, for God was on their side. No more giant in the land, no army they could see, no enemy that took a stand, God set his people free.